about to walk into something daunting. Maybe something like, you can do this, or I'm a strong, independent person who knows how to handle tough things, or you is strong, you is kind, you is important. Whatever it is, it is something that brings you courage, right? Something that bolsters you up. St. Patrick had that as well. Today, since his feast day is his feast day, I figured it'd be a good time to think about how we march into battle. A battle of spirit, more like it. St. Patrick was the great evangelizer of Ireland. While not Irish himself, Ireland has taken him on to be a great patron. This breastplate of St. Patrick that I'm about to read is fascinating and inspiring. I hope you find something within it. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness, of the creator of creation. I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth with his baptism, through the strength of his crucifixion with his burial, through the strength of his resurrection with his ascension, through the strength of his descent, descent for the judgment of doom. I arise today through the strength of the love of the cherubim and the obedience of angels in the service of archangels, in the hope of resurrection to meet with reward, in the prayers of the patriarchs, in the predictions of the prophets, in the preaching of the apostles, in the faith of confessors, in the innocence of holy virgins, in the deeds of righteous men. I arise today through the strength of heaven, the light of the sun, the radiance of the moon, the splendor of fire, the speed of lightning, the swiftness of wind, the depth of the sea, the stability of the earth, the firmness of rock. I rise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and near. I summon today all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel and merciless power that may oppose my body and soul against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of peng pengadum, against false laws of heretics, against craft of idolatry, against spells of witches and smiths and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Christ to shield me today against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may come to be an abundance of reward. Christ with me. Christ before me. Christ behind me. Christ in me. Christ beneath me. Christ above me. Christ on my right. Christ on my left. Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of every one who speaks of me, Christ in every age that sees every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a ministry of strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the Creator of creation. That was St. Patrick's battle cry. That was his mantra when things got tough. St. Patrick's was one of words and not of metal. He wore it as a protector when he was marching into the battle of evangelization. What about St. Patrick's breastplate struck you? What particularly struck me was St. Patrick's belief of Christ with him always. In every corner of his being, St. Patrick knew he had God with him. How is God near to you during these times? How can you practice seeing God in your corner?